Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and today I am going to be sharing three ways to make a simple card shine. I'm starting out right off the bat with some beautiful pearlescent paper, and this is one way to really step up a card, is to use some specialty paper, something that's really, really beautiful. This uh, stamp set I'm showing you here is from the Hedgehog Hollow October Kit, and then I also have a couple other items here that I'm going to use to really add some pop to our card today. This is a very simple card. As you can see, it's a very short video. And sometimes a simple card is what you need. So I've used an embossing buddy powder bag here so that I can stamp on this stamp. This is from that stamp set I showed you at the beginning that came in the October kit. And I'm gonna use some clear ink to stamp that on all over the card. And we're going to emboss this in this Judikins Iridescent Embossing Powder. It has a little bit of glitter to it, and it is so pretty when you emboss it. It's almost like a watermark with some sparkle. And so I really love this look. This embossing powder is a favorite of mine. As you can tell, I've almost gone through, well, more than half the bottle here. When you heat this up, you can see that it disappears a little, but there is a lot of shine, a little bit of glitter, and it's almost like a wintry snowflake day. So these presents are going to act as snowflakes on our card here. And look at that. So you've got the shine on the pearl paper. Now you've got the iridescent, beautiful shine from the embossing powder. And now I have some snowflakes cut out of vellum. And vellum is also a magical tool to use on a card to add a little bit of interest, but it's also a little bit subtle. I'm now going to take that sentiment and stamp it in a dark blue ink. This matches the paper that we're using, and I'm just using the sentiment that says, Happy Holidays. When you have your sentiment match your paper, it also brings together a little bit of cohesiveness on a card, and I really think it's beautiful. Now I'm gonna back that on some black cardstock so that it really pops off the card. You can see I'm cutting it down here, but when I put it onto the panel, I'm going to have to cut it down just a little bit more. It's a little bit larger than our panel here. I'm just using a little a liquid adhesive to add that to the card, and I'll put some acrylic blocks over the top so that really sticks on nice and flush to the card. And then I'll trim off those edges by turning it over and trimming that from the back. Now we're going to add this to our card here. I'm using my bone folder to have a nice crease in the side of the card so that it lays nice and flat. And I'm using quite a bit of adhesive here because this paper is a little bit heavier than normal. So I wanna make sure that that sticks well to my card base. And again, I'll use a, that acrylic block or those acrylic blocks to have that stick down. Now I'm gonna attach my vellum. So this, I'm just using a little dot of liquid adhesive in the center. And on vellum, when you use adhesive, you can usually see right through that adhesive or right through the vellum to the adhesive. I don't love that look. So I'm going to add some sparkly iridescent gems now. This is the, the final way to make your card shine. And so I'm just adding those to the center of each of the snowflakes, and that will hide our adhesive as well. So that is going to finish our card today some, with some really simple ways to make your card shine. This was a very fast card to put together, but look at that pearlescent paper the iridescent embossing powder, the vellum snowflakes, and those shiny iridescent gemstones. Makes for a beautiful card. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video today. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss all the videos. I have another one coming up soon, and I want to thank you specifically for stopping by my channel today. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.